at the mall today. Hands getting the dogs excited. He's going to get riled up. Go ahead in there. Go ahead in there. Go ahead in there. Right here we go. Good boy. People still love this stuff, man. What type of coordination you have? You work 270, at least 70 pounds on. All muscle. I'm like a damn fixing your son's clothes. He's like, ah, he's good right now. Let's fix him up, make sure he looks good. <laughs> good boys. Good boys. Good stuff. Good step, buddy. Yeah. That's what happens. It's important to trust this. We go one more time here. All right, people, we got Chief Keith out here. That big old boy. Counter. Shoot! Fight! Let me go. We gotta figure it out. Gotta figure out. He wants to get there.
He got them big old mouths. I got little thighs. <laughs> <laughs> So in this part of the episode, what we're going through here, actually more so what I am experiencing is that we're in a new environment. I've worked with Oakley before, but we're right now we're working on my energy. We're working on me slowing down. Sometimes I have a tendency to overthink, but luckily I have like people like Stan here, for example, who can help walk me through this process. And mind you, it's cooking in this suit, people. But my main thing is trying to stay focused, making sure I'm ke- catching the right, the bite correctly. And then making sure I present myself confidently throughout this process. And little things like this right here, you know, I never knew that 
making just that subtle movement can get him going again. So this is a big learning process for me. Thankfully, I have people like Stan here and also Jamil. They've been working together for quite some time. And I'm able to watch them and learn from both of them throughout this entire process. So, guys, man, what a day. What a day. We're at the Midway Mall. He was invited out here by one of the officers. That's a buddy of uh, Stan's, Brett. He gave us an opportunity to come in and work our dogs in a new environment. I don't know that our dogs specifically will ever be chasing somebody in a mall. <laughs> but it was an opportunity to learn a little bit more about our dogs, man. What are some things that you learned about everybody's dog here today, man? Um, low light stuff. We need to do more of that because they're starting to focus on their eyes instead of their nose. Mm -hmm. So we need to set up scenarios where they don't have their eyes to use. So how mean, important would you say nose work is? I mean, like you said, they start smelling before Shoot. they can even see. That's it. So it's the most important thing when a dog is using their nose, they're very more accurate than when they're using their eyes because we all know these drugs can, their dogs can find drugs in gas tanks and whatnot and they can't see them. They can just you smell know, it. And a gas tank is strong. Think about how much, how much just, it's almost like noise, right? It's putting out a lot of noise. Then all of a sudden it's like, damn, there's some drugs in there. You're like, you smell that through the gas? What kind of drugs they got? <laughs> so I think that's one thing that I'll do with the puppy when I get it is a lot of low light stuff hiding from him in low light with just me and him so he starts using his nose and just introducing that really early because I didn't do those things with Rocco and Oakley. Yeah. Um, Rocco's just, he's just that dog so he figured it out but mm -hmm. we can help guide them a little bit more so we'll do more of that with Creed for sure um, and then your pup's going up. Yeah and that's the key too man we learned about what we could do better moving forward and you set up those processes in place so that you do less work when you get to this stuff. I know that he enjoys it, I enjoy it, and he enjoys really getting out there and having a good time with the dog. And for me, I love to see my dog thinking things through and figuring stuff out. So I think we all got to see everybody's dog get busy. We saw some fun stuff in there. Me almost get bit uh, <laughs> and hit by uh, the officer dog. And you see my lip. Mm -hmm. I did get hit. Uh, but that's the beauty of it, man. We're at war, and we're not at war because we're fighting anybody. We're at war trying to better the whole dog industry, dog business, dog communication, dog training, dog fun, etc. That being said, like, subscribe, share. Iron Sharp K9, tell them yours. Decoy JK. Decoy, see, now I always get it confused. I'm a like, JK Fit or DK Joy, D Cut. You see what I'm saying? I'll start stuttering. I don't do a lot of stuttering. I stuttered when I was a kid, but not now. And of course, you know, Fit Bully TV on my dog tools on all of the platforms. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people, and thank you for watching.